Let me tell you what happens. When you masturbate, you are engaging with demons. Masturbation is sex with imaginary demons. When you have sex through your imaginations or when you stimulate yourself sexually to masturbate by your I don't care whosoever you are imagining in your image or in your mind you are doing something at that point in time I'll tell you what you're doing you are doing two things number one you are both bewitching the person that you are imagining to stimulate yourself sexually and you are also having sex with a demon of that person's image the counterfeit the underworld of that person and then you are indirectly bewitching the same person casting a spell of lust on that person as a matter of fact it will be easier over a period of time to seduce that person because you have already bewitched the person in your sexual fantasies stimulations masturbations over a period of time so you're a witch <laughs> a big time witch because sometimes we think that we witchcraft is going to the bush and knocking stone. No, 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 Starve your lust. Starve it. Starve your lust. When, when that urge comes for you to masturbate, don't. When you start having an affair with the spirit of lust leading you to masturbation and pornography, you are going to birth children yes spiritually yes every intercourse is anticipated a procreation procreation is anticipated of every intercourse please understand that Mental intercourse will produce or will procreate depression, rejection, insecurity, anger, and suicidal thoughts. These are the children of masturbation and pornography, even sexual violence where a person will lose his moral compass of life you come under the child you come under the children of depression you will lose direction you come under perpetual control of Satan that's what happens mark my words go and do your research not everybody that masturbates they're always depressed they're always withdrawn they're withdrawn people violent sometimes depending on the temperament let me tell you what pornography does pornography encourages addiction to lusts pornography it's more or less like a catalyst Pornography is a facilitator. It's an energizer. A, a, a mobilizer. It, it, it 
it, it advances, it, it feeds, it nourishes lust. Lust can, can die if you don't nourish it. If you don't, if, if, if you don't nourish lusts, it will die. Lust is so, it's so lust is, is, is like uh, the sperm of a, a man. It doesn't last. It will come out to just die off. When the spam is released, it has a lifespan of five days or a couple of days. It dies. Lust is that way. So lust is like the spam of Satan that creeps into a man's consciousness. But pornography, masturbation, and sec continued sexual intercourse continue to feed, nourish, expand, procreate lusts. So I've just given you a key, right? What to do? Starve your lust. Starve your lust. Starve it. Starve your lust. When, when that urge comes for you to masturbate, don't. When that urge comes for you to watch pornography, don't. That's how it is. 